All right, that's the, the private driveway that leads back to the cleared site. We're on the north end of the property looking south. Uh, this is track 13, the White Ranch Conservation Project. As we look westerly on the easement road, the property's on the left side of the road. Um, I think we're going to do a full flyover here. Unfortunately, it looks like we picked a, a pretty overcast day to do the video, but that's fine. We're going to still get a good look at this track. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. 16.88 uh, acres. It is surveyed with the corners marked, uh, which is great. The truck is parked on the easement road, and we're looking south at the property. So you can see that private driveway that goes back through the timber and opens up into uh, kind of a small uh, little site, but it gives you a, a way to immediately pull off the easement road with your truck and kind of get situated. Um, you can see that the trees over on the right there. We didn't see any signs of any recent logging out here. Uh, so the trees that you see that are down were either from uh, the easement road being widened and improved or from the, the driveway and the site on the property. They kind of cleared out the bigger stuff and then came through with the mulcher, mulched up the smaller stuff. Uh, as far as the driveway and the site, I believe they spread some grass seeds. So by the springtime, that should be, should be nice and green. We're heading southerly. Beautiful little private site right there. Set back off the road. So very private because you've got all that timber between the, the road and the site. Now this is a big tract. I mean, it's over 300 feet wide and goes back to the south. Um, whatever distance <laughs> makes 16.88 acres, goes to the south quite a ways. Uh, so you've got the option for, for dozens of other spots for sites, but, but this gives you one where you can immediately get off the road and get situated, so that's good to see. This property is basically all wooded with what looks like pretty good sized timber, um, other than of course the, the cleared site in the driveway. And there might be just a tiny bit of meadow on the northwest corner. I think we saw that on the aerial photo. But basically it, it's just entirely wooded um, with hardwood and with pines as well. Some beautiful pine trees on this property. So we're looking north, truck parked on the easement road, but we're actually flying southerly. We may spin around in a moment here. So from where the truck is on the north end, um, it's fairly level coming to the site. It starts to slope up as you get to the site. And then from there, and I think we'll see that in a minute here, uh, it continues to slope up as you go southerly. And then when you get to about the middle of the prop, the prop, I'm trying to say here, middle of the property, uh, it actually levels off with what looks like a nice uh, kind of a flat knoll, which appears according to the topo map to be one of the high spots around. Okay, so now we're looking south. You can clearly see how the property does rise up, uh, but I mean it's not a it's not a bluff, it's not a cliff, anything like that. It's a it's a gradual rise, so you certainly could put a trail. Um, and now we're looking directly at the the knoll on the property, and off in the distance you can see a couple other beautiful uh, knolls or hills. This is the Ozark, so we're known for for that kind of topography, and it's great to have that that knoll right on the property. So headed straight south. I mean, if you're looking for a place to, to uh, you know, maybe do a, a retirement home or, or something really nice, um, a big knoll like this with, with this kind of view is pretty hard to beat. Clear out some of that timber and you would have just a stunning view. Even for just a cabin or a place to put your RV or camper, I mean, having, having a view like that is pretty cool to wake up to in the morning. And that's what I'm, I'm sure that's what we're trying to focus on with the drone here, is trying to give you a taste of what the view could be like from this knoll on the property. And that is awesome. So as we fly southerly past the knoll, and I hope I'm using the right word for that, uh, it's going to start to slope down slopes down for a while, levels off again, and then for about the final uh, quarter of the property, it slopes down to actually a, a named creek, Pine Creek. We did not hike back to Pine Creek to see if there was water in it. Odds are it's gonna be a seasonal creek, um, but it is just kind of cool to have a named creek bed on the property. That's looking westerly off in the distance, and then northerly again.
So again, that's we're looking at the, the, the nice high level knoll that's roughly in the middle of the property. Would be a very cool place to, uh, to do a campsite or a building site. And flying back to the north, so of course it's sloping down. As we mentioned, you'll you find all kinds of timber out here. We saw a ton of red oak, white oak, hickory trees, uh, but there are some big beautiful pine trees as well, which is pretty cool. Looking at the, uh, the cleared site. And then of course the easement road on the north side of the property. So uh, we're looking westerly and of course the property is on the left side of the road. Within about five miles of the White Ranch Conservation Area, which is several thousand acres of land that's uh, generally available for hunting and recreation. Um, the Spring River runs through the conservation area and that's awesome for uh, fishing and swimming and all that good stuff. beautiful tract so check out the website to see uh, if the property is available definitely give us a call send us an email if you have any questions we would love to talk to you about the property that was tract 13 at the white ranch conservation area i'm sorry the white ranch project which is about five miles from the white ranch conservation area